All right, so I'm excited to uh, be announcing a new series that we're going to be doing here on the channel where um, we are going to be going through and catching a fish on literally every single lure that is in this tackle box, this tackle box, and this tackle box. And that is, uh, if I count them up, probably somewhere around 50 to 60 different lures. So it's going to be a challenge. Before we get too far into today's video, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers. And uh, I've said that in my last one or two videos, uh, but I just wanted to remind you guys, I'll remind you at the end of the video as well. So hit subscribe. That now obviously I'm not going to be catching a fish on every single lure in the tackle boxes in one sitting. It's going to take multiple, multiple episodes and um, it could take even up to a year to complete this challenge. So it's going to be a series where uh, each episode I try and bang out as many lures as I possibly can. Um, and I can do freshwater, saltwater, um, anything I want as long as I catch a fish. Now, a couple more ground rules real quick. I do have a fourth tackle box that has terminal tackle in it, so weights, jig heads, drop shot stuff, uh, hooks, swivels, all that good stuff. And I don't need to catch a fish on everything in this tackle box, uh, but I can use the things in this tackle box to aid me with this one, this one, or that one. So I can use uh, terminal tackle to help me uh, complete this challenge. Um, and I, this video, or this series is not including soft plastics. If you guys like this series, uh, maybe I'll do a series on how, uh, catching a fish on every single soft plastic that I have, but that is a completely different series. Um, yeah. Just catching a fish on every single lure in our tackle box. Now, because, uh, I would love to get into fishing, but before we did that, I thought it would be a really cool idea to kind of go over every single lure in my tackle box and, um, I kind of go over how I'm going to try and fish it, and what I'm going to fish for, um, and yeah, so, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Alright, starting on this side of the box, uh, we got this little um, imitation, like a, like a craw imitation of some sort, um, and I'm going to probably use this, it's kind of broken, so I might just throw it on the back of like a jig, or like a juicy jig, uh, and in that case, I would also uh, knock off two lures in one, um, one fish, that would be awesome. Next, we got the goby lure. Uh, I forget who makes it, um, but it's it's a really cool swim bait. And uh, maybe if I were to ever fish for a smallmouth, uh, largemouth, or maybe even a rockfish, uh, might bite something like that. Uh, we got the little mini minnow up here in the back. Is uh, just you know a tiny little minnow swim bait. Uh, maybe for a small striper, um, bass, maybe even a big bluegill. Who knows? Yeah, we got a little bit of a subsurface uh, floating jerkbait um, that I got in my MTB box, probably for bass, maybe even a striper, who knows. And we got a deep diving, um, suspending jerkbait, mostly for salt water, probably a surf perch, striper bass, maybe even a bass, depending on uh, what the bass sizes are. And we got a little bit of a grub right here. In fact, uh, I think this might be good. F I know you could probably catch a bass on this thing, but I'm going to try and catch a halibut on one of these things. Uh, that might be a bit of a challenge, but it would be really cool. And then also in this section is a tiny little hair jig. Not hair jig. I don't know what you call these things. Um, but you could probably use this for trout, uh, maybe bluegill, depending on how aggressive they are. And now here we got a bunch of broken lures, which we will still include in the contest. We got a jerk bait that's missing a treble hook. Still got its perfectly good bill, but it's missing this treble hook. And then we have one that has two good treble hooks, but it's missing its bill, so it's kind of turning to a topwater bait. Um, so, you know, I think this one will be a little bit easier than this one, just because, you know, at least this one still functions as a normal bait. And we got a uh, topwater bait, uh, just a little... Plopper. I'm probably going to use this one for bass, maybe even a striper. And then we got uh, some jerk bait, a Guggen Squad, jerk bait, four to six feet diver, uh, bass, maybe even a striper. Yeah, so that is the first part of this top tackle box. So let's flip this bad boy around. Open it up, and on this side, I'm not going to go through every single lure just because there's so many, but this is pretty much 
a bluegill and trout section right in here. So I got some spoons, I got some spinners, all that good stuff. And then right here, this one's gonna be a challenge. Uh, teeny tiny little crankbait. Uh, not sure if you can see that. Tiny, tiny little thing. One little treble hook. This will be a challenge, but uh, not impossible. This one will also be a challenge considering I don't own a boat right now. Look at this behemoth of a bait. I don't know exactly right off the top of my head how far this thing dives. I got it in my most recent MTB. It looks awesome, uh, but it is huge, so I don't know. Here we got some uh, crankbaits, Bomberay crankbait. Um, I got another, another one here. Actually, in my uh, la not last fishing video, my last freshwater fishing video, I fished with this thing and I hooked a bass, but it came off in the reeds. Uh, which is unfortunate, but I know this thing works, so I don't think it'll be that hard. Got this in my most recent uh, MTB box. You can't really see the colors on it right now. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's a little, like, popper, I think, um, but it, it looks really cool. And then we got the good old popper bass, striped bass, probably work uh, well with this lure. And then we got some swim baits. Uh, this will probably work well for rockfish, even a striper. Now, once again, striper, I know I bit this lure, so uh, it works. And then in here, uh, we got some jigs. Some uh, I'm not going to pull them all out just because they're all put in kind of precariously, but it's uh, some jigs, like the Juicy Jig. Um, and then we got some chatter baits in there, so I know that'll work for bass. And then we got this lure, which you guys have already seen, the little plop, uh, water plop, uh, the, the walk the dog spook. And one thing that I didn't really mention beginning in the rules, uh, but I don't need to catch a fish on literally every single lure. I just like need to catch a fish on every single variation of lure. So if I catch one on the other one that I showed you, this one will be disqualified. And we got this interesting lure, also a topwater, the dragonfly. Uh, it doesn't have very good action, so uh, I don't think it'll be uh, very easy to catch a, lure, a fish on that, but uh, maybe a feisty bass will eat it. And over here we got some trout spoons, a big spoon for like jigging. We got another cast master in there, you can't really see it uh, for, for uh, uh, stripers. But uh, yeah, so spoons for trout, stripers, maybe even a bass. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the first of three tackle boxes. Um, yeah, let's move on to the second. Alright, tackle box number two. Open it up. On the left, we got some white shiner swimmers, and I know these are technically considered soft plastics, but just because they are in my tackle box, I'm just gonna uh, include them in the challenge. And then we got uh, this thing, little Z-Man curly tail. Uh, once again, soft plastic, but I will be including it in the challenge because it's in my tackle box right now. <laughs> and then we got this thing. Not really sure what this is. It's I was just screwing around one night. It's a little yellow jig head and a tiny little blue trailer. Maybe a big blue gill, small bass might eat this thing. And then we got this bad boy. Uh, I've really wanted to fish this lure for a while. It looks really dope. It's just like a worm, a little buzzer at the end on a worm hook. So that'll be fun to fish. And then once again, we got that saltwater jerk bait that I talked about before. And then we got some more crank baits. Uh, once again, just for bass. Um, yeah, you get the point. You get the you get the you get the, the deal. Another crank bait. And then we got this thing, which is kind of a, a crank bait uh, that. The lipless crankbait that not many people know about, but you pretty much attach the hook here. I uh, string the string in, you tie the hook. It's kind of cool, I'll show you. Then we got this beast of a lure right here. Little rainbow trout bomber uh, lure. I think this will work well, especially at Bon Tempe Reservoir because uh, the bass, I have I know bite rainbow trout like lures, like these, these big swim baits that look like rainbow trout. So uh, I think that'll work there. Then we got some uh, swim baits. We got the, I forget what this is called. And then we have the baby bull shad. So these two lures look very much alike. Uh, but yeah, they're just little swim baits. And then we got some more jigs, uh, chatter baits. You know, I've already talked about those, so I won't go over them again. Flipping this around. We don't have many in this back section, multiple of them are duplicates, but uh, starting over here we got a little uh, prop bait, uh, balsa, prop bait balsa prop bait, um, I got my most recent MTB, it looks really dope and I'm like, hyped to fish it, especially at McGinnis, I'm just going to throw it along the reeds and I think I'm going to be able to snag a bass or two. And then we got the whopper plopper that I was, t uh, the, or the, not the whopper plopper, um, the spook that I was telling you about earlier. 
uh, right there we have three of those. And then we got a little spider lure. It has a weedless frog design, so I think it might work at Stafford Lake if I'm throwing it in those reeds. And then we got two of the same little uh, crankbaits that we got in our most recent MTB. And uh, yeah, that's, that's box number two for you. Let's move on to box number three. All right, box number three. Starting at the left, remember that rainbow trout bomber lure, that's it. And then uh, we got this absolute whack of a lure. It's a little lizard imitation. It's a subsurface bait uh, we got in our MTB. It has a removable tail, which is kind of cool. Uh, two treble hooks. This thing will be, uh, I'm guessing, extremely complicated to catch fish on, but when we do, it'll be very satisfying. Uh, we have like four different variations of those, so we have tons of different colors to choose from. Uh, then we got another deep, big deep diving crankbait. Um, not as big as the other one, but still a relatively good sized bait. And then we got a little, uh, little crankbait. And then we got a smaller version of that uh, huge deep diver that I was showing you earlier that we also got in our MTB. And then once again, another tiny little pot belly crankbait. And another uh, goby lure that I was telling you about. Another rat lure, uh, another one of those prop baits, and a weedless frog, which I know will work at Stafford Lake and pretty much anywhere that has lily pads, so catch bass on one of those. That's really the only fish that I'm guessing will eat this bait. Flipping the box over. Starting in the far two left uh, sections, once again, we got some shiner swimmers. Uh, just need to catch a fish on one of them. Um, we got some lipless uh, crankbaits, uh, rattle trap bait kind of things. Um, I think these will work for striped bass really well, especially uh, right now. Uh, maybe a largemouth might eat them. And then we got uh, two of the same crankbaits, pretty cool colors, relatively large. Uh, then we got some jigs talked about earlier. And then we have two more uh, lizard lures. And finally, this popper that I was showing you earlier. So. That is all of the lures uh, in our tackle box. All of the lures actually that I own right now uh, for both saltwater and freshwater. Uh, but yeah, so our goal is to try and catch a fish on literally every single lure. And uh, yeah, so if you want to see um, the next episodes where we try and actually fish with these lures, uh, please hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll never miss any of our uploads. And one more thing too, just to let you know, um, just to remind you, we are doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers. Uh, right now, I think we're at 38, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so yeah, help us reach that goal. That way we can uh, get that giveaway out to you guys.